I saw you originally asked her out at Penn Relays. Uh, was that just like the adrenaline about taking weeding? Like, <laughs> what happened? So, oh, oh man, God. that's a that's a point. I, I can't believe you're bringing that up. So. <laughs> is brought to you by Gooder sunglasses. I got them too. Uh, Gooder's the best sunglasses for biking, running, cycling, anything you're going outside. You want to wear Gooder's. Polarized, super lightweight. Can't beat them. Love there wearing we my Gooder, so thank yeah. you. <laughs> Welcome back. Very special episode of Talking While Running. We got a little uh, double trouble here with hey. two guests on. Very special guests. <laughs> Uh, Robbie Andrews and Josette Norris. Josette Andrews. Yeah. <laughs> thank you for coming. How are y'all? Oh, thanks so much for having us. Yeah, this is fun. I'm kind of third wheeling this date, but okay. I'm happy about it. That's okay. I reached out to Robbie, but we yeah, <laughs> got the lucky uh, we'll, we'll let it slide. No, anyway. but let us get into it. No, okay. Um, well, we were talking about Boulder. I want to get in with that first. You guys are Jersey folk. Yeah. yeah. How's it been out here in the mountains and training in altitude? Uh, I've I've been loving it. Uh, you know we're we're you know East Coast people. You know we went to school on the East Coast, grew up on the East Coast, and uh, <laughs> you know a lot of our friends and you know everyone comes out here. Yeah. So we've heard so much about Boulder, and you know we've spent time in Flagstaff, but okay. we've heard so much about Boulder <laughs> and. My first time here was actually on Josette's visit to OAC, <laughs> okay. and uh, I like I loved it. You know, not that it was my decision, but I, I love it out here. So, yeah. how Are long you, has it been then? When do you come out? We came out Christmas Eve. Oh, how so. cute! All right. yeah, yeah, yeah. Also, recently married. Congrats on that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And I think it's the America's fastest married milers. Yes. That's right. Is yeah. That true? <laughs> I think, I mean, that's insane. We need, like, Colby Alexander and Johnny Gregoric to get married, baby. Oh, gosh. Johnny. Wait, it's Johnny. the world. Is right? it the world? It's the world. It's oh, the my world's God. Fastest All right. married couple that's in the That's amazing. Yeah, it's, uh, yeah, I'm kind of, uh, I'm kind of the anchor on that. Because, like, not in a good way. Like, I'm, like... I'm the limiting factor. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. I don't know if I'm getting much faster. Well, a 353 <laughs> yeah. limiting factor, I don't know about that. But I gotta keep bringing mine down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jones, that's I'm true. working on it. No one's gonna good. break our record. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's a legacy. Yeah. So, yeah, it's cool. Thank you. Okay, so I wanna jump in now that Josette's here. I saw you originally asked her out at Penn Relays. Oh. <laughs> Was that just like the adrenaline about taking weeding? Like, <laughs> what happened? So, oh, oh man, that's a, that's a point. I, I can't believe you're bringing that up. So, uh, Penn Relays is our anniversary for dating. Yeah, okay, okay. So, at, uh, yeah, so we, all right, so it was her senior year of school, her, not her fifth year, her senior year, and, um, you know, Georgetown, they always come up to Penn, and I was a, a volunteer at Princeton at the time, so oh, okay. Princeton always goes to, to Penn. And so this was later than your freshman year? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> a couple years, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and uh, um, Josette had just found out she got a stress reaction or a stress fracture in her femur. Oh, no. Uh, yeah. <laughs> she had just run at uh, Stanford or something, and like, she's like, my leg really hurts. She got a, found out she got a stress fracture. And so she was like coming up to like support her teammates. Nice. Yeah, yeah support her teammates. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. And see Robin. And, uh, <laughs> and, uh, and uh, oh, I was like, all right, man, you know, this is it. Like, we're doing it. We're, we're, we're asking her out. <laughs> and, I brought my teammate. We slept at Robbie's house. And, uh, <laughs> oh my God. And uh, so funny. So the, awesome. the support of, Supporting your teammates was apparently not a very good excuse. <laughs> Wait, how, so how did you know each other before that, though? I didn't... From the Man Manalapin days? Manalapin. Is that how you say it? Uh, she close no, enough. No, no. <laughs> no, I'm a, I'm a little bit older than Josette. Uh, yeah. But so my... One of my best friends in college, Dave Cotton, uh, his, uh, his sister, Sarah, she was... Uh, she ran at Georgetown. And so when Josette transferred into Georgetown, um, Sarah had asked me, not because Josette transferred in, but when, <laughs> the same time Josette transferred in, 
Sarah had asked me to come speak to the Georgetown team because she was uh, like bringing in a bunch of people yeah. every week to talk to the team. You're it was a really legend. cool. It was like a series. Yeah, 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 yeah. It was like a talking series every month, and she was bringing in a new guest. Yeah, so I, I understand. It. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and so, yeah. Somehow I was up on her list, so, uh, and apparently. I was only staring at one person when I was talking. <laughs> uh, and, but so that was in 2016. So if you're and, staring at me on this footage, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> watch out. Yeah, sorry to you. And, and, uh, and so um, that was in 2016, though. So then, like, you know, I, I see, she I see. She like at that night I sent her a Twitter DM to come out to a bar and she's like she's like I'm 20 I was like oh my god what am I doing and uh, so then like a couple years go by and like you know every once in a while I like see her to meet and I like wave and she's like get away from me and and, 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 like slow burn yeah oh super slow slow burn slow burn definitely it's Keith Keith Luke Squeezy oh is that. I think I know who that is. He's yeah, yeah, yeah. doing his own. He has his Oakley's on. Nice. Got his gooders, gooders. Yeah. gooders yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, yeah, so it was a super slow burn. Josette was protecting herself and making sure that I had the right intentions, which I think she knows I did. And uh, yeah, so here we are. Amazing. Married. Here we uh, are. Coming up on. Oh, we just. And peeking. I'm talking while running. That's right, that's right. Yeah, so yeah, we just passed three months married, so Congrats. Woo! That's it. thank you so much. Oh my gosh, yeah, what days <laughs> While we're on the pen relay subject though, back to I wanted to talk about your freshman year at UVA. One of the most <laughs> raw <laughs> freshman <laughs> campaigns ever. <laughs> okay. Indoor outkick weeding for the title. <laughs> pen relays outkick weeding for the four by eight. Yep. Then outdoor get out kicked. Oh, dude, I got weeded. I so. got rocked by weeding. <laughs> but but yeah. I think you had, I mean, the rivalry of that year, what was that like and what do you remember? Dude, that was, uh, so I was just so, like you said, just I was just so raw. Uh, you know, and Coach Vidge, uh, uh, my coach at the time and I was at Princeton, he, he did a great job of kind of keeping me in my lane, in my bubble of like, don't worry that he made an Olympic team two years ago. Don't worry that you're 18 years old trying to like yeah. win a national title. He said, he just kept reminding me to compete, 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 compete. That's kind of what Weeding did when he was your age. Exactly, yeah. yeah. You know, that, like he, he, I, after talking to Andy all these years now, he's like, yeah, I just kept running, I just kept racing, and I just, I, you know, kept getting second in races, and it got him on an Olympic team, and you know, then it's a, that's kind of a, a good, uh, kind of story or testament about how how different expectations can play with your mind right and like you know when you're you know he's literally the six six like yeah yeah uh, target but like <laughs> when you're he had the rings padded on his back oh my god so he i can like look at his shoulder i know I saw, so, I oh my god rings. dude yeah, it yeah. is hysterical That's like sick. i'm just like staring at these rings i'm like 18 i'm like oh. tell the story about how freshman year like the goal at that indoor race was to get ahead of him and then Oh, yeah. yeah. That's a funny story. Oh, I don't know if, I, if this has ever been said <laughs> before. Right. Oh, oh, my gosh. Oh, wow. I'll bend my ear for this <laughs> so, so we're at Nationals. We're in Arkansas. And, uh, you know, it's, you know, I, I'm a Northeast guy. I've run it at the Armory. Yeah. Uh, bank. And ba- it's bank track. Yeah. Arkansas's bank is, like, insane. It's probably, like, six feet high. Like, you, can, yeah, yeah, yeah. you can't really see over it. <laughs> so I'm just, it's like, like triple four or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. right? So... It was like a Hoosiers moment where I'm like, are you sure this is 200 meters? Like, well, you know, but uh, so after the prelim, uh, my dad and, and Coach Vidge are there, and my dad was a runner. He was an 800 guy. I want to get in with him. We'll put a pen. All right, he ran, he ran a pen. Okay. He's, he's awesome. But, yeah. but uh, so after the race, Vidge and my dad are talking strategy, and uh, we they come up with the strategy where, you know, weedings. He's so much better than everyone else. Okay. So, what is he going to want to do? He's going to want to celebrate. So, you got to oh. wait as long oh. as you can Dude. to pass him. So, oh if you watch the if you watch the race in like the like there's probably four like pixels on the screen at this point. <laughs> but, but uh you gotta really, Yeah, you got to really get really, close to you the gotta really get confirm I did yeah, the yeah, research yeah, this yeah. week. When so, Robbie showed me the races, I was like, uh-huh. Yeah, yeah, that yellow pixel. Yeah, yeah, that's, yeah, that's me. That's me. The other one, yeah. Uh, so, if you watch with 
like you know 75 meters to go yeah i'm just sitting on him and i could i have it in my legs to go by him but right right but Vidge and my dad they said wait for the turn wait oh, i'm sorry wait for the home stretch of a of a 200 meter track yeah. a 200 meter track because my legs are so small compared to his like <laughs> i can just turn over right and so then on the home stretch when i get by him I like kind of stopped because I'm like, oh, I won. <laughs> right, right. I pass him, and then he had he had enough time to like come back on me, and I was like, oh, That's uh, so yeah, yeah. Uh, like point zero one. Point zero one. And I'm I'm just sh I'm shook. Like that's so funny. Uh, yeah, like that interview. Oh my. Oh. He's like, you have some great interviews yeah, that yeah, year. Yeah, yeah. The guy's like, how to go? Sweet. He's like, oh, uh, I, I jumped him. I, I jumped him. And I'm assuming coming up that home straight, it was also surreal. What were you seeing? What were you thinking? Well, the possibilities. I was trying to jump him so that he didn't have time to react. And hey, 0.01, that'll do it. And as you crossed the line and you knew you had it, what were you thinking there? I didn't believe it. I thought it was fake. <laughs> This is, this is unbelievable. I'm so thankful for this. Praise God. Well, congratulations. Thank you. I want to thank my mom too. Thank you. <laughs> Crazy. <laughs> you did. I mean. Oh man. So my, yeah. My favorite from that year is when you at the outdoors and you're like sweating tears, baby. Oh, that was sophomore year. Okay. okay yeah, okay. yeah. <laughs> but I mean, yeah, that's you, don't, also... you don't get interviewed for losing this year. Right, right, true. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Second, yeah. yeah, yeah, exactly. Okay. So you go on, like you said, sec uh, sophomore year, you win again. Right. A uh, title at least. Then you went pro junior year. Yeah. Which is a little like, nowadays we kind of see that, where you just skip college altogether. <laughs> <laughs> I guess Cole Hawker like went for a couple years. Yeah, yeah, cool. I mean, Cooper is, uh, left after Right, right, right. Uh, so what was that like for you back, like, I mean, because now those kids kind of NIL stuff, like, it's oh just man. different. It's, it's a different world. It's a different world, yeah. yeah. I would say um, it was, uh, I kind of like, not that it fell into my lap, but, I kind of got, I wasn't planning on it. Okay. Um, so I was, I was in a five year program. Uh, I was gonna get my master's in education. I was gonna go be a teacher and coach high school track. Sick. And uh, yeah. <laughs> that was like the dream. Uh -huh. That's all I wanted to do. And, uh, and then after, uh, you know, I guess after you win a couple NCAA titles, you, right. you start thinking like, huh, Am I gonna like make an Olympic team here? Like, yep. is this gonna be worth it? And and then uh, Coach Vidge uh, left the Virginia program. Yeah. And I was training with Alan Webb at the time. <laughs> and wow, I didn't know that. Yeah. So so they were like, so it's like in Virginia. This is in Virginia. Okay. Yeah. Yes. So Alan moved to Charlottesville. Right. Yeah. He was a volunteer for for I think it was a semester or a year. And um, after like, what was that like? Oh, oh man, Webb was a coach. dude, he was. I learned so much from him. Yeah. He, he, because he was. So that was 2010, 2011. Right. right. 2011, and um, so he was like, you know, he, his American record was still pretty fresh. Right. And uh, it was like, I had just, I didn't know much about running at the time, so getting to talk to him and listen to him like talk about workouts and like running and you know. Talk about leaving school early. He left after his freshman year. Yeah, right, and, right, right. And like, it just it opened a, a whole new world to me. And I was like, yeah, I think this is really what I want to do. Um, wow. Okay. Like I, I want to be, I want to be great. I want to, I want to make an Olympic team. And so that was, uh, yes. Yeah, so that was that's like uh, March of 2012. Yeah. Right before the trials. You know, a few months before the trials is when I went pro. And uh, <laughs> yeah, it was. Uh, you know, best decision ever made. Yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. So then, I mean, second best, second best. Yay! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Wait, sorry, we didn't plan on her being here, so you got that one right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You're allowed to have yeah. yeah. I was just going out for my run. <laughs> um, I think you said you guys just came off the uh, Milrose and Wanamaker. You paced. Yeah, yeah. Because that ran great. Yeah. Thank you. Um, <laughs> Not that pacing's not great. Okay. No, 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 no. Come on. But I got you. I, got I think you. you went to 11 in a row competing, something like that. What, yeah, what was yeah, that yeah. like? And, you know, kind of how was that experience this year looking back on the uh, decade of, man, crush Wow, I didn't you're, realize you're how bring, many you're, years you had done it. You're, you're bringing up uh, my two favorite meets of my the oh, yeah. entire world, uh, 10 Relays and Milrose. Yeah. I'm not talking about running. Yeah. I hype you up. Yeah. Yeah. This is awesome. So Milrose, 
Millrose has been part of my family for right. Forever. So it's getting your dad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So, so my dad's been running Millrose since he was in high school, and uh, he he ran uh, at Newdorp High School in Staten Island, and then he went at so U Penn. He was a half miler uh, in the early '80s, and um, the southernmost Ivy League school. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, it's uh, you know, Dolan's done a great job of that program. Yeah, yeah it's been it's been nice to watch. Um, and so, yeah, so I grew up going to Millrose, and then my junior year That's so of cool. high school, uh, I can't believe I'm about to bring up my junior year of high school. <laughs> Do it. Uh, where me and Merber raced. Nice. So that was my first time racing at the Garden. That's when we we're still in the Garden. Wow. And 11 laps of the mile. <laughs> and uh, so I get second there to Kyle. And uh, and uh, and then, so yeah, so that was 2008, and then I, I ran there, like eight of the next ten years. Yeah. Okay. And then, you know, now the next, then after COVID, you know, it's like it was a, this was my twelfth year going to Millrose, That's competing unreal. or facing at Millrose. Yeah. Wow. Uh, so I never won, won a maker. I was, my best finish was fourth. Uh, which is my still PR in the mile, 353. That was when, uh, so that was part of the Central Willis duel. Okay, they, so take us through it. So that was uh, kind of when Central and Willis were going back and forth. And I remember seeing Central the night before that race. He was sick as a dog. And I was like, oh man, I can win this. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> and, what, what did he have? Like, what do you mean? Just, he just had a cold, I think. Okay. I don't know, he probably had this flu game. Yeah, it was just flu. It was basically his flu game. <laughs> but they, so Kyle, pa that's funny, Kyle paced that year. And he better no, not say anything about pacing now. No. <laughs> and, and no one, no one wanted to go, especially Centro. Yeah. Because I don't think he knew how he was going to feel. So we were relatively right. slow, like 257 through the 1209. Uh -huh. And so him and Willis closed in like 52. Oh, geez, <laughs> to yeah. run 350 yeah. or 351. And uh, me and O'Hare were third and fourth. Oh my god. Uh, in 353. He was 352, I was 353. Uh, and uh, yeah, my st still my mile PR. That's so sick. But uh, yeah, Milrose is uh, super special to me and my family. And now having Josette two years in a row getting second in 420, yeah. it's uh, it kind of brings it full circle. And I'm gonna get it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Get it. All right, we're gonna, I just wanna set, tell Tia we'll flip at the next thing if that's cool. Okay. Oh, yeah, absolutely. But, um, Josette, so yeah, how was your experience then of the last two years? What's it like? <laughs> I mean, like I said, we'll do a full interview with you, but like, what's the uh, yeah, you gotta ask her that sw yeah. swag with on walking into uh, <laughs> Milrose these days? Like, how does that feel? Yeah, it was a bit crazy because that was my first race with on. Oh, okay. Um, so to make the debut with OAC and on at the Milrose games yeah. in such a oh. competitive race, yeah, was um, pretty insane and exciting and the armory's 15 minutes from my hometown in That's North right. Jersey. Yeah, yeah. So like I ran my first high school race at That's the armory. I made my Reebok debut. Yeah, Reebok debut. I mean was there. your guys wedding at the armory like that's an actual <laughs> we, we considered it. Yeah. 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 So the armory has a special place in my heart and I've always wanted to run in the Milrose games and finishing second last year in so my first lit. one. <laughs> um, and running 420 was like what absolutely insane and that like started that great indoor season and making my Momentum. first world team yeah. so to be able to match that with a new team and new yeah. training yeah. system is like a really great sign so i was really happy with it absolutely well but we can <laughs> that is insane dude i cannot believe the questions you're pulling out of your ass right now <laughs> this, is, this is amazing <laughs> all right well thank you wait let's make sure we got that oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, all right well you guys make it easy you guys are sick um, okay. What about, I wanted to touch on Coach Vigilante. Oh, of course, man. Forget. Yeah. Coach Vig, I'm not there yet to use that nickname, I don't think, but. Oh, uh, no, he, dude, he, he's Vig, yeah. Okay. He's Vig to everyone. So yeah. you, you go with him from Virginia to, well, not really, but to Princeton, and then he coached you kind of going pro. What What's his relationship and coaching style like with athletes, and how has that played out so, since you were a young buck? Yeah, yeah, so, uh, uh, so yeah, so I, I went to, so Vig's recruiting pitch, I mean, obviously I've went there, but his recruiting pitch to me, so it's the, it's the uh, fall of 2008, mm -hmm. right after the Beijing Olympics. I think it was a market crash. So yeah, <laughs> so, yeah, there's a lot of stuff, but there's also an Olympic Games. Right. And uh, so he calls me 
in like late July. He's like, hey Robbie, this is Jason Vigilini with the University of Texas. <laughs> I like the impression. I, I, I have to go to Beijing with one of my athletes, Leo Manzano, ever heard of him. <laughs> yeah. uh, don't commit anywhere. I'll call you in a month. Whoa. So he calls me in a, so I don't commit, you know. Yeah. Because I, I was fine as a junior. I wasn't like, you know, not like nowadays. You have like you were recruited by junior year. Yeah, I, I was. <laughs> okay, I was sure. fine. Yeah, 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 I was fine. You weren't uh, Leo. You no, weren't. no, no. Yeah. Uh, so he calls me in a month. He says, "Hey, Robbie, this is Jason Vigilani from the University of Virginia. <laughs> How'd you like to drive to school instead of fly?" Dude, <laughs> that's awesome. So I took a visit, and uh, my buddy Brett Johnson from Jersey, we both committed, and we were like, "We're gonna run this NCA." And uh, we did, I did, you know, it worked out well for me. College running's hard. Brett, Brett ended up winning an NCAA title at Oregon when he okay. transferred. But uh, slight work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But so Vig, uh, like I mentioned earlier, he he did a great job of keeping me focused on me. And by that I mean school, to make sure that I <laughs> I didn't fail out or That's anything. Good. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. UVA's no joke. I oh mean. man, yeah. I, I did. I didn't quite fit in there. Uh, <laughs> sure. But uh, no, he uh, he when he gets his his he's got these like piercing blue eyes. I've seen yeah, some yeah. clips that got here. It's, when he gets his claws into you, like I know people say like their coaches tell them get them to run through a brick wall, but right. He he doesn't get you to run through a brick wall. He gets you to the Olympics. Yeah. Like, Dude, it's, that's a quote. It's amazing. And you know, I when I was younger. I was like super shy, really reserved. I didn't have a ton of confidence, and with you know he kind of transformed me into like this this winner. That's awesome. And like I was I was undefeated that freshman year indoor, and uh, I mean in in college my worst finish was second, and that was at NCAs and at ACCs to Lance Roller, and then <laughs> ACCs 1500 to Kieran O'Leonard. Who right. went on to make a world final that, Freak, that summer? Yeah. yeah. So it, it was, uh, he just, he was able to instill this confidence and this belief in me that I never knew I had and that I could then carry over for the rest of my life. Like, you know, 2008 Robbie never would have uh, uh, sent Jose a message. Uh, <laughs> I can promise you that. Yo, shout out Coach so, Vigilante. So it's, uh, he's, he's changed my life in ways that I I never even knew could happen. Uh, wow. But uh, for, as far as his his coaching, uh, we we definitely, uh, you know, getting a, a look into what other people do now as far as training goes. Yeah. Um, he definitely does- On uh, cough cough. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he definitely does uh, a lot of, uh, a lot of threshold stuff with like the short rest. Like he loves the Ks and the miles with the short rest and the tempos, like four or five, six mile tempos. Yeah. And uh, his his like race even from midi even from midi yeah Love it. his like race specific stuff uh, for the eight and the fifteen uh, is is I haven't I haven't seen a ton of a ton of other guys do his stuff not that it's like crazy it's just uh, a lot over and yeah under, right right it's not it's, at actual yeah we don't do it. pace. Like he, he always said I was like the worst mile. I like that though. Like, <laughs> like a 60 second pace for me was like so hard. Funny. But, yeah, but yeah. 54, <laughs> like slow 800 pace. Right. Fine. And like 64, like probably my like 2K pace. That was like and lock in. That was that was yeah, great. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But uh, no, he he's got a he's had some some great athletes over the years. Uh, and right now at Princeton, he he's got a a sophomore 800 guy, Sam. Sam Rodman, Hot Rod. Uh, <laughs> he, he was the first one out of NCAA final uh, today. He was a big bummer, but uh, oh, wow. but uh, no, he does a great job developing talent. And uh, yeah, and if, well, if you and want, and Vig is famous for um, <laughs> head on the table, doesn't even know what you guys are doing, and can guess your split, right? Oh my God! Yeah, tell yes. the story. Awesome Vig story. Yeah. <laughs> so this is that, yo, I'm, I'm yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they, I'm, trying to, I'm trying yeah. to get the good stuff. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, pick it up. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah jump this, one, this one's yeah. great. So, this is uh, this was a uh, uh, professional. It was when uh, I'm with uh, Peter Callahan, yep. uh, Patrick Rollo from Davidson, uh, Anthony Koslak, AK47. You know that name? <laughs> no. Oh my God. He was, I do now. ACC champ. 
at Virginia what, with okay, me. Yeah. Uh, he was part of a sophomore year pen for by uh, that oh, one. But uh, so Viz, he he's just, he can kind of get stressed sometimes. He's got some tension in his back, <laughs> so we're doing a workout, and he asked the massage therapist that we would see to to work on him while we're doing our workout. We're doing a... In the dome in Princeton? So we're outside, it's summer. Okay. It's, this is like before the Olympics. Okay. And uh, so we're, we're doing, this is like a class, the stable vid. It was like a four mile tempo, sorry. And then uh, get, oh, there's hella bikers the up here. to you. Slow down a little. There's <laughs> like a thousand bikers coming. Okay. Oh my God. Did you see that? <laughs> sorry to interrupt. No, no, no. All right. And Safety we, first here on the show. Yeah, wow. yeah, of course. The big biker crew. So then we do the we do 100 up to 200 in 10 meter increments. So you start at 100, then you do the 110, 120, oh, 130, 140. Yeah. So it's it's these odd distances. Uh, Woo! And like. <laughs> oh my God. You like. So the idea is if, if you add a second every 10 meters. Okay. So if you start at 14 for the 100 you'll finish the 224. Right. So you get like, oh my gosh. Yeah, so it's 1,500 meters. I think it's a it's a Peter Coe workout. But, uh, so it's 1,500 meters where like, the bulk of it is between 15 and 800 pace. I, okay. I, I loved it. So, anyway, so if you're doing a 130, what's a good time for that? No idea. Okay, yeah. His right. head is in the table. He's like, <laughs> she, he's elbow deep in his back. Yeah, 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 yeah. And he's like, Who's slapping their feet when they're stopping? He's like, slow down, I don't want any stress fractures. And we're like, how, what? Like, how did he know that? Yeah. And then he yells out a split and he's like, 15 2. And we're like, you're like, wait, what are you talking about? He's like, that was 15 3. <laughs> and so he can just, Dude, that is so his ability to watch, to watch someone run and like, just know how they're doing. Analyze it real time. It's amazing. That's awesome. So he, that's what I'd say his best attribute as a coach is when he like gets his, like I said, he gets his claws in you and he's watching you and he like, he'll know in a workout what you need based on how you look. That's like, I can't tell you how many times he's cut me short or right. he's like, hey, let's do a three. Like let's, let's run like a 36 here. And right. he, he just knows his athletes and it's a- uh, That's all you can want. Yeah, but coach who pays attention and like <laughs> who, who, who was it? Who was it? Oh my! Oh, it was Rollo. He, he was the most tired, of course. Uh, but uh, man, that was uh, yeah. Any other? Any others you got, Josie? I'm thinking. <laughs> all right, I have. A, yeah. I want to jump into one other topic. All right, all right. The second Olympian we've had on. Um, wow. Morgan Pearson. Oh, oh yeah. Cool. Oh, Jersey legend. Yeah. Yes, Jersey. yes, yes. Uh, go Green Wave. Um, <laughs> well, all right. Easy to relax. All right. <laughs> <laughs> That's it, guys. Yeah. Um, but anyway, yeah. So you you ended up kind of passing weeding, like you said, staring at those rings. Not really, but you got there yourself. 2017, you beat Centro in the U.S. outdoor. <clears throat> yep. I mean, did that feel like redemption? I mean, that had to feel good. Felt good and. What was it like looking back on the Olympic experience? So I guess uh, to not to draw it out too long, but draw it out, baby. So in, in 2012, when that, that uh, when I did leave, leave school, right, right. Well, uh, I was fifth at the trials, right? Uh, and Weeding was third, and we were like kind of. I needed to beat him. We knew we, we Leo and Centro were pretty pretty a step ahead of everybody. Yeah, and. I think we all knew we didn't have been injured. I think he had a planner or something, and we kind of knew it was going to come down to that third spot. And that and was your second ever 1500. Oh my God! Yes. Yeah, so That's that, a big deal. What? So in the Olympic so, trials. So I, I doubled the amount of 1500s. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, I had ever run. So oh, we got to. Because I was an 800 guy. Right. And uh, <laughs> so I ran I ran 115 my freshman year. Yeah. 341 closing in 53. I ran two my sophomore year at ACC's, 340 <laughs> closing in 53. Oh my god! And and then what you was that? What track? That was Duke, the old okay, Duke track. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, and uh, so then come come my junior year, 
I ran Oxy. We ran 334. <laughs> almost beat Mo and Galen. Oh, that's oh my right. god! I the shouldn't have yeah, 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 yeah. And Robbie's like in a tank yeah. top, a black and a tee. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The that's Nike what, kit. That's what got my Adidas contract. Yeah. 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 Uh, still my PR to this day. Shout out Oxy. Uh, <laughs> and uh, so, uh, so that was my fourth ever 1500 at Oxy. Oh my god. And then so at the trials, it's three rounds. So I ran my fifth, sixth, and right. seventh ever 1500. <laughs> yeah, that's absolutely. <laughs> that is. I'm second as a pro. And, uh, right. and so I was so nervous before that race that I didn't eat uh, breakfast or lunch. I'm like clanking my fork on the plate, and like no one knows how to calm me down. Wow. So I, Vig always says I was a. Were you usually like that, or was that unusual? No, no very unusual. Yeah. Vig always says I was a. I was a Gatorade and a sandwich away from, from that <laughs> Olympic team. Uh, like, dude, I mean, I went to warm up. That's I was, so funny. I was a ghost. Yeah. So if you see, it, it wasn't a crazy fast race. Like, they ran like 3.30, I think Central and Leo were 3.35. Right. But we, me and Weeding were like 3.37. So like, it's not like it was a 3.32 race. I just had no energy. Right. Uh, and you know. But that's such great I'm not experience. Taking, I'm not taking anything away from Weeding. Like, right. he, he freaking earned that. But like. I was not on my A game. But him, for him, it wasn't his first go. For you, it right, wasn't. Right, right. Makes sense. Doesn't so that just shows you how the expectation I was talking about and, uh, you know, the pressure yeah. uh, can really mess with you. But, uh, and then in so, 2016, so, mindset was way different. So then, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, how, I mean, so then it, re that re it took me a long time to bounce back from that. And, uh, you know, I, I'll bring Josette into this for a second. Like, yeah. after her trials in 2021, where she went from being happy to make the meet in uh, in February to all of a sudden she's the favorite to win it. Right, well I think you called her a college girl stress fraction girl. So yeah. I, <laughs> dude, I mean, yo, we started, I thought she was never going to run again after that. Yeah, that's amazing. And then she took her fifth year and best thing she ever did. Yeah, I did. Uh, so Josette's stock right now is yeah. going nuts. So like, and Josette, for Josette to bounce back after a trials uh, disappointment the way she did, like, I wasn't sure if it was going to take her four years like it took me. Right. Uh, but so, yeah, after after 2012, 13 was pretty rough for me. 14 was pretty rough for me. And then it, it wasn't until 2015 where I kind of like was able to let go of expectation and pressure. And uh, what, what, what do you think kind of led to that? How did that like anything? Rem did you, was it Coach Vision's eyes or yeah, what, what kind of? It was definitely uh, Coach was Vig, but I, I definitely just stop caring what what uh Hell yeah. everyone else was saying and uh you know you know we just spent a good half hour talking about how awesome I was as an 18 and 19 year old right and then uh I kind of sucked after that <laughs> and it was like man why do you suck like you can't beat an 18 year old time right like, right uh overanalyzing and yeah so I was finally able to let go and just like run free kind of and uh it definitely uh it definitely worked for me and I think Vig knowing, knowing me so well by that point right. as well helped a ton. Right. Um, but so then in 2016, it's like, yeah, things are, you know, I'm firing on all cylinders. I'm fourth at the World Indoor. Yeah. I almost beat Central at US Indoors yeah. that year. Like, man, we were, we were rolling. Yeah, yeah. And uh, I'll never forget this. Before the final at the trials, you know, we're putting our stuff down and the 1500 start is right in front of uh, Cap's Corner, you know, the Nike Corner. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> no one's really saying much because, like, you know, we're we're all Locked fighting in. for our life yeah, out yeah. here. And someone's like, hey, Rob. Oh, my God. It's Andy. He gives me a, he, you know, gives me a high five, hugs me, and he's like, go get this team, brother. Oh, Aww. yeah. And I, it, it was, so another, an oldie, so after that indoor NCA 2010, uh, he handled he handled that extraordinarily well. My mom actually sent him an email thanking him for being so nice wow. to her little baby. And yeah. uh, uh, that's awesome. He's just stand up guy. He, and, and, and absolutely stand up guy. Incredible human. And, and he works for always. And I was about to say. So it's funny how uh, it's crazy a full how, circle. Like, yeah, like yeah. you guys do at that pen relay finish, and then like it, dude, it's have all these connections. I thought you lived in yeah. the same town, now. Right. Yeah. So like, it's just so, and that that actually took so much weight off of my shoulders. I was like, dude, Andy Weeding thinks I'm going to make right, this team. Right. Like, oh. yeah. it, yeah. it was, uh, it, it, that was like, 
the best, the, probably the best race of my. I like that race more than I like that 2017 race. Right. I witnessed that 2017 race. I was there. What was your perspective? All right, we're finishing up here we before just, we finish. Hold on. Me and my costumes were just cheering for Robbie like yeah. little fangirls. <laughs> that was epic, though. It was, it was like 110 degrees. That's what I was gonna like, say. Yeah. And it was a different style of racing that for Robbie sure. was doing, like from the front a little bit. You so. also said you tweeted, I think, like. From that time till now, there's been five unique men winners. Oh, yeah, yeah. So, I think you and Center said you and him are going to win them all from now on. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, you were talking about I think Center said that. I'm going to hold, I know, I, I got to hold you guys to the fire on that one. It's you two. I'm putting my money down. Yeah. One, two. Thank you, man. What, Thank what, you. Before we finish, what's the, uh, going forward, what's the plan? Are you trying to keep running? What are we doing? 2024? Uh, How are you doing with training? So I'm, uh, uh, Josette's kind of been coaching me the last uh, several uh, several years. Uh, I've, no! kind of, I've kind of just been doing her oh, yeah. her workouts, and uh, I'd definitely be a good just picking uh, up scraps from Dathan. For <laughs> pretty much, yeah. And, and uh, you know, Josette and Alicia are uh, pretty uh, elite. You know, they're, they're pretty elite. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, you know, even the last few years with Coach Fox, Fox's workouts were no joke. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna keep running. I don't know if it's gonna be. Uh, Olympic trials worthy. Oh yeah. But uh, I'm coaching now. I'm uh, kind of doing online coaching. Oh, we'll, uh, we'll talk after this. Yeah, so. yeah. And uh, I'm a part of Blue Mountain Warrior, uh, Blue B uh, Boulder Blue B uh, Boulder Mountain Warriors. Oh hell yeah. Uh, with uh, Dathan's son and uh, Kara's son, and uh, uh, just here in Boulder. But it's a youth program. Uh, but yeah, just trying to figure it out, and uh, you know, keep it going. Unreal. Thank you guys. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, thank you. Right there. That was perfect timing. Thank you so much, Gooder. Thank yeah, you so yo, much. Gooder. Appreciate it. All the run details will be on Tracksir and then all their social media. Hit them up, spam them up, give them some love, <laughs> and follow their uh, training. So thanks. Thank yeah. I cannot believe the questions you're pulling out of your ass right now. <laughs> this, is, this is amazing. <laughs>